I was always curious to know how can bats harbor so many viruses without developing symptoms. So I reviewed some literature and here's what I found in a summary. Five unique physiological adaptations allow them to harbor many viruses without developing symptoms. 1. Enhanced immune system, bats have a highly efficient innate immune response that can quickly control viral replication. 2. Dampened inflammatory response, unlike humans, bats can avoid excessive inflammation when infected, preventing tissue damage. 3. DNA damage repair, bats have enhanced mechanisms to repair DNA damage, which may help them tolerate viral infections better. 4. Metabolic adaptations, their high metabolic rates during flight may create an environment less hospitable for viral replication. 5. The last one is body temperature fluctuations, daily hibernation cycles may help control viral activity. These adaptations allow bats to coexist with viruses without suffering ill effects. However, this also means they can act as reservoirs for viruses that may be harmful to other species. Let's discuss about the zoonotic viruses on another day. But since we are discussing about their adaptations, let's explore deeper into each of these five characteristics bats have developed to keep viruses at bay. 1. Enhanced Immune System of Bats Bats have a remarkably efficient innate immune response, which is the body's first line of defense against pathogens. This system in bats is particularly noteworthy for several reasons. 1. Constitutive expression of interferons, bats maintain a constant level of interferons, which are proteins crucial for fighting viral infections. In most mammals, including humans, interferons are only produced in large quantities when an infection is detected. In bats, however, these proteins are always present at higher levels, allowing for a rapid response to viral invasion. 2. Enhanced Pattern Recognition Receptors Bats have evolved more sensitive and efficient pattern recognition receptors PRRs. These receptors are responsible for detecting the presence of viruses and other pathogens. The enhanced PRRs in bats allow them to identify viral threats more quickly and initiate an immune response faster than other mammals. 3. Unique Natural Killer Cells Bats possess a higher proportion of natural killer cells compared to other mammals. These cells are part of the innate immune system and play a crucial role in identifying and destroying virus-infected cells. 4. Autophagy Regulation Bats have improved autophagy mechanisms, which is the process by which cells break down and recycle their own components. This enhanced autophagy helps in clearing viral particles from infected cells more efficiently. 5. Accelerated Evolution of Immune Genes Research has shown that many immune-related genes in bats have undergone accelerated evolution, potentially making their immune responses more robust and adaptable to various pathogens. These features collectively allow bats to mount a swift and effective response to viral infections, often controlling the viral load before it can cause significant damage or symptoms. This rapid control also means that viruses may not have the opportunity to replicate extensively, which could paradoxically make bats better reservoirs for viruses, the viruses can persist without being completely eliminated, but also without causing harm to the bat host. It's important to note that while this enhanced immune system is beneficial for bats, it also means that viruses that can survive in bats may be particularly hardy and potentially more dangerous if they cross over to other species with less robust immune defenses. 2. Dampened Inflammatory Response in Bats Inflammation is a crucial part of the immune response in most mammals, including humans. While it's essential for fighting infections, excessive inflammation can lead to severe tissue damage and even death. Bats have evolved a unique ability to modulate their inflammatory response, which contributes to their capacity to harbor viruses without developing symptoms. 1. Balanced Inflammatory Signaling Bats have a more balanced expression of pro-inflammatory and anti-inflammatory cytokines. Cytokines are signaling molecules that regulate the immune response. In bats, there's a tendency towards a more controlled release of pro-inflammatory cytokines and a higher expression of anti-inflammatory cytokines. 2. NLRP3 Inflammasome Regulation The NLRP3 inflammasome, a key component in triggering inflammation, is more tightly regulated in bats. This protein complex is less reactive in bats, reducing the likelihood of an excessive inflammatory cascade. 3. Reduced oxidative stress, 
bats have enhanced mechanisms to deal with oxidative stress, which is often a byproduct of viral infections and can lead to tissue damage. This helps prevent inflammation-induced damage. 4. Altered NF-kappa B pathway The NF-kappa B pathway, a key regulator of inflammation, functions differently in bats. It's less prone to excessive activation, helping to keep inflammation in check. 5. Enhanced DNA damage repair As mentioned earlier, bats have superior DNA repair mechanisms. This helps prevent cellular stress and damage that could trigger inflammatory responses. 6. Metabolic adaptations The high metabolic rate of bats, especially during flight, may contribute to their ability to quickly clear inflammatory mediators from their system. This dampened inflammatory response allows bats to tolerate viral infections without experiencing the severe symptoms often associated with inflammation in other species. It's a delicate balance, their immune system is still effective at controlling viral replication, but it doesn't overreact in a way that would cause collateral damage to the bat's own tissues. This adaptation is particularly interesting from an evolutionary perspective. It suggests that bats have found a way to coexist with viruses, rather than trying to completely eliminate them. This strategy allows them to serve as reservoirs for various viruses without suffering ill effects themselves. However, it's important to note that this same characteristic that benefits bats can pose risks when these viruses spill over into other species. Animals or humans lacking this dampened inflammatory response may experience severe reactions when infected with viruses that bats carry asymptomatically. Let's move on to the third one. Enhanced DNA Damage Repair Mechanisms in Bats DNA damage repair is a crucial cellular process that helps maintain genomic stability and prevent mutations that could lead to disease. Bats have evolved particularly efficient DNA repair mechanisms, which contribute to their ability to tolerate viral infections and potentially to their longevity. Here's a more detailed look. 1. Upregulation of DNA repair genes Bats show higher expression levels of genes involved in DNA repair pathways. This includes genes related to base excision repair, nucleotide excision repair, and double-strand break repair. 2. Enhanced ATM pathway, the ATM, ataxia telangiectasia mutated, pathway, which is crucial for detecting and responding to DNA damage, is more active in bats. This allows for quicker recognition and repair of DNA lesions. 3. Telomere maintenance. Bats have shown improved mechanisms for maintaining telomeres, the protective caps at the ends of chromosomes. This contributes to genomic stability and may also play a role in their longevity. 4. Improved antioxidant defenses. Bats have enhanced antioxidant defenses, which help prevent oxidative DNA damage. This is particularly important given their high metabolic rates during flight. 5. P53 pathway modifications, the P53 protein, often called the guardian of the genome, functions differently in bats. It appears to be more efficient at promoting DNA repair rather than triggering cell death in response to damage. 6. Mitochondrial DNA protection, bats show improved mechanisms for protecting mitochondrial DNA, which is particularly vulnerable to damage due to its proximity to reactive oxygen species produced during cellular respiration. These enhanced DNA repair mechanisms are significant in the context of viral tolerance for several reasons. Viral infections often lead to cellular stress and can cause DNA damage. The improved repair mechanisms in bats help mitigate this damage, reducing the negative impacts of viral infection. Some viruses integrate into the host genome as part of their life cycle. Efficient DNA repair may help bats manage these integrations without detrimental effects. The ability to quickly repair DNA damage may allow bat cells to survive and continue functioning even when harboring viruses, contributing to the bat's role as a viral reservoir. It's worth noting that these enhanced DNA repair mechanisms likely evolved not specifically for viral tolerance, but as an adaptation to the oxidative stress associated with flight. However, this adaptation has the added benefit of contributing to their ability to coexist with viruses. This area of bat biology is still under active research, and scientists are continually discovering new aspects of how bats manage DNA damage and how this relates to their unique role in viral ecology. One before the last, four. 
Metabolic adaptations of bats and how they contribute to their ability to harbor viruses without developing symptoms. Bats have unique metabolic adaptations, primarily related to their ability to fly, which is energetically demanding. These adaptations also play a role in their viral tolerance. 1. High metabolic rate, bats have an exceptionally high metabolic rate, especially during flight. This high metabolism creates an internal environment that may be less favorable for viral replication. O increased body temperature, the high metabolic rate leads to elevated body temperatures during flight, which may inhibit viral replication for some viruses. O rapid cellular turnover, high metabolism is associated with faster cellular processes, potentially including more rapid clearance of infected cells. 2. Efficient energy utilization. Bats have evolved to use energy very efficiently, which may leave fewer resources available for viruses to exploit for their replication. 3. Unique glucose metabolism. Bats have adaptations in their glucose metabolism that allow them to quickly mobilize energy for flight. This rapid energy processing may also help in quickly mounting immune responses. 4. Enhanced antioxidant systems. To cope with the oxidative stress from their high metabolism, bats have developed powerful antioxidant systems. These may also help in managing cellular stress from viral infections. 5. Intermittent feeding patterns. Many bats undergo daily fasting and feeding cycles. These fluctuations in metabolism may create an unstable environment for viruses, making it harder for them to establish persistent infections. 6. Brown adipose tissue. Bats possess brown adipose tissue, which is involved in thermogenesis. This tissue may play a role in regulating body temperature and metabolism in ways that affect viral replication. 7. Mitochondrial Adaptations Bats have unique mitochondrial adaptations to support their high energy demands. These adaptations may also influence how their cells interact with viruses. The connection between these metabolic adaptations and viral tolerance is complex and not fully understood. However, it's thought that the combination of high body temperatures, rapid energy processing, and efficient cellular operations creates an internal environment that's challenging for viruses. It's important to note that while these adaptations may make it harder for viruses to cause severe infections in bats, they don't prevent viral infections entirely. Instead, they may contribute to a state of balance where viruses can persist without causing significant harm to the bat host. This area of research is ongoing, and scientists are still working to fully understand the links between bat metabolism and their unique viral ecology. The insights gained from this research could potentially inform new approaches to managing viral infections in other species, including humans. Last one. Body temperature fluctuations of bats and how this contributes to their ability to harbor viruses without developing symptoms. Bats exhibit unique patterns of body temperature regulation, particularly related to their daily hibernation cycles, also known as torpor. This ability to fluctuate their body temperature plays a significant role in their viral tolerance. 1. Daily torpor. Many bat species undergo daily periods of torpor, a state of decreased physiological activity. Body temperature drops significantly, sometimes close to ambient temperature. Metabolic rate slows dramatically. Heart rate and breathing rate decrease. 2. Rapid temperature changes. Bats can quickly shift between torpor and active states, causing rapid changes in body temperature. 3. Heterothermy. Bats are heterotherms, meaning they can vary their body temperature over a wide range, unlike strict homeotherms like humans. These temperature fluctuations affect viral tolerance in several ways. Viral replication inhibition. Many viruses replicate optimally within a narrow temperature range. The frequent and dramatic temperature changes in bats may inhibit viral replication cycles. Immune system modulation, the immune system functions differently at various temperatures. The fluctuations may allow for periods of heightened immune activity during active phases, followed by reduced inflammation during torpor. Metabolic suppression, during torpor, the overall metabolic suppression may limit resources available for viral replication. A stress response activation, the transition between torpor and active states triggers stress responses that may help in controlling viral activity. Altered gene expression, 
temperature changes can affect gene expression patterns, potentially including genes involved in antiviral responses. Virus adaptations Viruses that successfully persist in bats may have adapted to these temperature fluctuations, potentially making them more resilient but also possibly limiting their ability to infect non-bat hosts efficiently. It's important to note that while these temperature fluctuations contribute to viral tolerance, they don't make bats completely immune to viral infections. Instead, they create a dynamic environment that may help maintain a balance between the bat's health and viral persistence. This aspect of bat physiology is still an active area of research. Scientists are studying how these temperature fluctuations precisely affect different viral families and how this knowledge might be applied to understanding zoonotic disease emergence and potentially developing new antiviral strategies. Please subscribe and put a thumbs up if you like this video. Let me know the R you want me to work on in my next project.